Hi, it's Martha, and I am here to share with you my warming thoughts, my thoughts on warm on all 25 Bring Back My Bars, as well as the Valentine's Day collection. I have these all in alphabetical order, and we'll time stamp, time stamp them all so that you can easily find them if you want to refer back to them. And I also have shorts, so I have YouTube shorts that I've put up for all 25 of the Bring Back My Bars, and um, those are kind of in the moment quick 60 second or less um, thoughts on each one. So you have a couple different places you can refer to and I have my notes and my thoughts and let's get to it. Okay, so let's get started with Apple Press. I'd say Apple Press is just a really pretty apple scent. It's got um, apples and pears and a touch of rose. If you're worried about the rose piece, I don't really get that. For me, it's a pretty apple scent. It is really pretty. It's, um, I'd say it's similar to Johnny Appleseed though, but maybe just a little more, a little more something. And that could be what the rose is doing, but it's not a, I'm not picking up specifically on rose. So if you're, if you're concerned about that, um, I wouldn't be. But really nice um, scent. I warm this in the guest bedroom. I think it was a moderate performer. I could smell it uh, pretty well just on an, in, with two cubes in an element warmer in the guest room. All right, Autumn. I keep wanting to say Autumn Maple Blaze, but it's Autumn Blaze Maple. And this is apples, pumpkins, and maple syrup. This is an interesting one. Um, interesting because it played hide and seek. I had it in the open concept. I think I had this in three warmers maybe. No, let's see, two warmers, four cubes. And although it's a really nice fall scent, it's got, um, you know, you get the maple and the sugar and the maple isn't overly maple to me, but this played hide and seek. So I could, sometimes I get whiffs of, whiffs of it, sometimes I could not. Um, and I don't find it very different or unique than other kind of fall scents that have apple and and uh what i say pumpkin uh and maple so for me this was just a kind of low performer at least in a open concept and it's it's pretty but it's not like a standout to me autumn stroll so autumn stroll i had warming in my bedroom so this was I put three cubes instead of four. Sometimes I do four. But with this one, I had a feeling it was going to be strong. And this is cinnamon, plum, and wood incense. I'm glad I did because it's a very strong bar. So this one actually let it run its course. And that was for three full days of warming. And I could still smell some. I could still get scent off the wax. I was just done with, um, with this one. I do really like the scent. You do get the wood incense. Or I did. I should say I get the wood incense for sure. Um, I think in my YouTube shorts, I said this was like taking a stroll with a, a nice smelling man, with the man who smells good. So it does lean masculine. I think the wood incense, you're either going to enjoy it or not. I enjoyed it because it's different. It offered a different take on kind of these notes of, you know, of cinnamon and plum. To me, it's a little more unique than what I've smelled, um, in, at least in the recent catalog. So I enjoyed it. This is a strong performer. It is a strong bar. It will last you days. I think this is definitely open concept worthy. I just happened to warm it in my bedroom um, and really fill the room. So I did enjoy Apple Stroll quite a bit, um, but I think it's one of those where you probably need to know whether you like incense or not. Um, and then Coconut Palm. Coconut Palm <laughs> was not a favorite probably my least favorite on cold and it didn't change so on warm I warm this in the bathroom uh, it's the bathroom downstairs where it gets very cold uh, a lot of scents have trouble in there just because you know they're just not strong enough to go through that cold um, and it just smells like it didn't change it still smelled like artificial coconut to me I don't get the tropicalness tropical coconut that it supposedly has I don't get patchouli I don't get green notes I get a very waxy kind of artificial raw coconut and it didn't get better um, this also I think lasted a long time of course it's usually the notes that do right um, I'm gonna see if I have anything else here in my notes on this one yeah, um, yeah, just not for me. 
I think performed really well. For those that like coconut, this might be great mixing with something else. So if you have any mixes, let me know. I would love to try to mix this because I don't think I will enjoy just warming this on its own. Um, I still have six cubes left. So if you have any mixes with this, I would love to know. I think we'd all love to know. <laughs> uh, so that is that one. Then we have coconut pumpkin pie and coconut pumpkin pie is pumpkin puree, nutmeg and maple sugar. This one, I get, get the coconut, I get the pumpkin. I'd say it's like a 50-50 blend of the two. I definitely get both. The maple though overshadows those other two, net, two notes. I do still smell them, but the maple is much stronger. So much so that I also warm this in the bathroom in that same bathroom downstairs two cubes and it was coming from underneath the door kind of spilling into the open concept i could definitely pick up the maple this one also though was interesting on the second day uh i think patricia gates said that uh i think when she was um reviewing the valentine's bars i want to say she said that starburst sky to her smelled like an ashtray or like cigarettes um, I don't get that for the, on that one, but I got it on the coconut um, pumpkin pie like the second day, like near the end. I mean, it smelled great. If you like maple, this had a strong maple note to it. But like when it was kind of reaching the end of its life, it had this cigarette ashtray note. So now I know what people are talking about when they say that note. I came downstairs in the morning because I'd left it warming all day. I came downstairs and I'm like... Like, and I had the bathroom door closed too. This was in the bathroom. And I'm like, what, why does it smell like cigarettes? And my, my 19 year old, you know, was, uh, we had a, a guest in the guest room and then uh, um, she was sleeping on the couch downstairs. I'm like, for a second there, I'm like, was she smoking? Um, Cause she doesn't smoke or anything. But I just for a second crossed my mind. Cause I'm like, why does it smell like cigarettes in here? So I opened the bathroom. This was in there, coconut um, pumpkin pie and yeah just got that scent but it was at the tail end so yeah it was it's definitely time to take that one out of the warmer all right next we have cranberry muffin probably my favorite probably my top favorite and this is cranberries brown sugar butter walnuts and toffee I don't get any walnuts I, maybe I get toffee what I get is sweet cranberry maybe it's the toffee that's sweetening that cranberry I get a sweet cranberry muffin. I get the muffin. I get that kind of buttery cakiness to it. This to me is a favorite and I think it's a favorite for a lot of people. So anyway, that is cranberry muffin. Uh, strong on cold, moderate though on warm. I have this in the open concept. Uh, I can smell it, fill the room, but it wasn't a powerhouse. So that is cranberry muffin. Then we have crumb top so crumb top i on cold didn't get the butteriness that some people did but i did on warm this was moderate i warmed this in the guest bedroom with two with just two cubes i really got that buttery and the sweetness and the oats so this is um yeah oats butter and brown sugar i really really enjoy this a lot i would say that this would definitely be a great mixer Probably I will use this more to mix than on its own, although it was really lovely on its own. Um, moderate performer, but a really good bakery scent. And I think this is also really popular. Now we have cucumber lime, and this is cucumber and tangy lime. This is really nice. It's green though. Not just the color, but the notes are very green notes. Um, I get a little lime, I get some cucumber, and I get something else. For me, there's something perfumey about this. Um, moderately perfumey, not ultra perfumey. Not like flirtatious, which I'll get into. Because um, it's definitely more of the cranberry and lime, but there's something else to it that's adding a little flair to it. I actually really enjoy this much more than I thought. I have this warming in the guest bedroom, just two cubes. And it filled up the room really nicely. So I'd say this is on a high moderate, high, moderate to high as far as throw. And I left this one, this was one of the last ones that I warmed. So I let this go and two days later I could still smell it in there. So I'd say pretty good performer if you like warm notes, I mean green notes. Um, this is this might be one that you would still really like to, to add to your club. That's cucumber lime. 
Now we have flirtatious. So flirtatious I warmed in my in my bedroom and that's with um, three cubes. This one to me never quite got off the ground. I will say I warmed this after I had warmed quiver and quiver was a much stronger perfume so maybe it was just a hard act to follow. Um, but yeah flirtatious was just average. Uh, very perfumey though so it's got grapefruit and green apple and amber but very much a perfume scented bar. I do get a little bit of grapefruit to add this tanginess to it, kind of this little pop. The green apple I do get as well, um, but that amber, and I, I'm sure something else because it's not just amber, is giving this much more perfumey scent. It is a little, there are some notes to my nose that are a little sharp, and again, although on cold, it smells pretty strong. On warm, it was low. I had to keep the door closed in order to continue to smell this. So that is flirtatious. Um, not my top one, not my favorite. It was just okay. I didn't hate it, but. Then we have Flower Shop. I think this is one you either hate or you love. If you love green notes, this is a good one. A good one because it is strong and it give you, gives you those green notes if that's what you're looking for. The description of this is like walking into a flower shop and I'm just getting clippings and stems and like someone putting together like maybe flowers for a wedding or something and they're just chopping up away and you know there's clippings on the floor there's buckets like the you know gallon buckets where you know the the roses and the flowers and everything sitting in there waiting to be clipped um yeah this is a very fresh and clean because of those green notes this was also very powerful this was in the guest room with just two cubes and it's it went on and this one i did leave in for a couple days and when i took it out still a lot of scent in the wax so I would say this will be pretty good in an open concept if that's where you want to warm it. Um, but a very good performer. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. It's not, it's, it's kind of in my middle as far as um, maybe I'd rebuy one to have another one because there was something kind of cool about that, the clean notes in it. Not like laundry clean, but like just clean, fresh, fresh. Um, so I would say if you like this, you will probably like it and be very happy that it is a strong performer. Okay, now we have fried ice cream. Fried ice cream is vanilla, cinnamon, and caramel. For me, the cinnamon is not, I think it's, the caramel sweetens the cinnamon. So although it's cinnamon, there's a touch of a red hot cinnamon, T a touch, not I don't know, on a spectrum of red hot, like bakery sweet to red hot, I'd say this is in the middle, but the caramel sweetens it, if that makes sense. The vanilla to me, I didn't really smell it. I mean, I guess it's there, but I really get cinnamon sugar. And also to me, there's there's something crispiness and maybe maybe that's, I don't know. I don't know what's making it crispy. Maybe that's the caramel. That's, but what I'm getting is like the, and I don't even know how, I've never seen fried ice cream. I don't know what it looks like, but I don't know. For some reason in my mind, I'm imagining like, like, you know, putting the, the ice cream like in some kind of cornflake batter and then, you know, frying it. Uh, so I'm getting a little cornflakiness. Like, so there's something crispy, um, whatever it is that is fried. Um, so there's something there. Unfortunately though, very low performer. I had this in a room with two cubes. Uh, did not really kind of, you know, I, the throw was not that great. So if you like sugared cinnamon, this is, this is fine. Um, but really kind of disappointed me as far as performance and lack of vanilla. Green tea smoothie. This was probably on the bottom as far as you know since when I smelled it on cold I had this warming in the guest bedroom with two cubes and this is green tea fresh ginger peach nectarine and cranberry I don't really get cranberry I get some green tea but the combination of all of these scents was not great what I really what really came through on warm for me was peach 
and it was like the you know those peach rings those gummy kind of sweet sour peach rings that you can buy <laughs> or sometimes at the movie theater and like target or something that's the kind of peach i was getting and that was a very strong peach so mixed with the ginger and the green tea this did not did not work for me at all um as far as performance goes i'd say it was moderate um i don't recall this being necessarily strong uh, yeah, moderate to light is what I wrote. So yeah, not, not for me. Okay. Then we have hazelnut latte. So hazelnut latte is a great scent with steamed milk, toasted hazelnuts, espresso, vanilla, and cinnamon. Uh, I do really enjoy the scent. I will be adding it to my club and I should probably do that because <laughs> I think these coffee ones are popular. Um, I do get that hazelnut. To me, it's a reminiscence of the hazelnut in Hug and a Mug but the steamed milk and all that. So it's a sweet latte, more latte than espresso, which is what a latte is, right? It's mostly milk than in like two shots of espresso. Um, this was moderate as well. Didn't perform as great as I'd hoped, but I can smell it. And definitely if I added more cubes and maybe into more warmers in my kitchen area, it would have come through more, but it was a great it was it's just nice i like this a lot just kind of wished it performed a little better as far as throw but i will be adding hazelnut latte to my club then we have mediterranean spa mediterranean spa is a um, smooth fresh and breezy scent i also love this blue <laughs> a lot uh, more the the label this label blue but this one i got a lemon on cold some kind of lemon or a lemon grass something like that. Um, and then this I warmed in the bathroom and this bathroom is hard to warm things in because it tends to stay very cold. I added two cubes, but what did come through is that kind of a lemon grass. I've heard some people say citronella. Is that the right thing? Citronella, but not exactly. I could see why they're going there, but to me it doesn't smell like that necessarily but it is a lemon lemon kind of scent coming through along with other things that make it smell a bit like a spa. I think I was thinking maybe eucalyptus or something, but definitely the lemon that I can tell you for sure. There's some kind of a lemon family related thing. Um, I really like this. I think it does smell like a spa, spa and I do enjoy lemon. So for me, this is one I will be adding to my club. It also performed really well. I had it in there for two days and I could still smell it on the second day uh, when I took it out. So high performer and I, I enjoy it. Then we have Melon Apple Granita. And this one I put in my open concept, probably not fair for the scent because it was on the lighter side. So it, Although I could smell it, it was very light. I think this would be better maybe in a bedroom, bathroom, or smaller room like an office. I really do enjoy this. You get the kind of a mix of cantaloupe and melon along with apple and some sparkling citrus is what the notes say. And I think that sparkle is translating to me like a slushy, like a frozen drink. Um, this would be, I think, amazing in the summertime. Um, it was a low performer though, and that could just be the weather. Um, I've been not studying, but I, I like to go down rabbit holes. And so I've been, studied a lot with perfumes and notes and why some things are in the summer or in the winter. And you may be asking like, why is there not that much bakery, um, you know, in the summer and it all seems to come in the fall. And there's, there's reasons for that. And there's just certain notes that um, do better in hot weather. That's why you wear certain perfumes that you would wear in the winter time would be super cloying and just too much in the summer because you have the, the heat from just the environment adding to it. So this might perform better in the summertime as well, but it was moderate to light, but I really like this a lot. So I'm going to be getting some more of these because I think in the summer, this would be fantastic. And that is, um, melon apple and or melon and apple granita all right okay pear blossom and cucumber pear blossom and cucumber this um has pear blossom rain kiss jasmine honeydew and cucumber water i warm this in the bedroom guest bedroom two cubes this never 
this never took off for me in that room at all. Um, I had the door closed to just keep the scent in. Very, very light performer. Although on cold, it's very pretty. I do like this scent. I, I will keep testing this, um, but at least in the bedroom, I, it was very low. So I think, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. And I've tested other things in there that were much stronger. So for this particular one in my element warmer, it never really took off at all. Uh, although it is a nice scent, but I really had to be close to it and kind of be doing this uh, to get it. So peppermint rush peppermint rush is peppermint sweet vanilla and freshly fallen snow i think what i've been hearing is you're either gonna like it or you're not i am a fan of it um to me i get candy caneness to it but others are getting toothpaste and i i get that now now that i've heard it i'm like okay yeah i smell the toothpastiness that people are talking about i don't mind that scent for, cause for me, I'm getting a very strong kind of a candy cane as well. And I think I haven't tried it yet cause I'm all out of vanilla buttercream. I can't believe I'm out, but, um, I have some coming and I do want to mix this with the vanilla buttercream cause I think this combination, the peppermint rush and the vanilla buttercream are actually going to be that candy cane buttercream that was offered in December. Um, so it's a strong peppermint smell. You have to like peppermint to like it. I do like it, um, but I can I can understand um, if you do not like toothpastey scents at all, you probably won't like this because I am picking that up. But I have other <laughs> waxes that have uh, from vendor wax that have that scent, and I just think it's I don't know. It's like it's like a spearminty, pepperminty smell. Whereas perfect peppermint is very much more a true peppermint scent and this to me has a little bit of that something else which to me is a little more candy cane but to each its own all right perk me up perk me up yes um this is guatemalan coffee beans and hazelnut not much more to say that if you like coffee you will enjoy this scent for me it's um there's something sweeter in here like uh, maybe it's the hazelnut that's offering a little creaminess to it, a little dash of sweetness, like a little drop of some syrup to make the coffee bean bitterness go to, go away. Coffee beans on its own can be very bitter or completely black. So this to me is like a coffee with a little cream and sugar. I like to describe it. Warmed too in my kitchen area. It was moderate. I can smell it, but it was light. So from a performance perspective, I wish it was a tad bit stronger but because it is a very great smelling coffee scent, I will be adding this to my club. Okay, Pima Cotton. This is, let's see, um, Lilacs, Freesia, and I guess, there we go. Uh, Lilac, uh, Freesia, and Jasmine. This is a laundry scent. So if you like laundry scents, you may like this. If you don't like laundry scents, you will not like this. This is not for you. I like laundry scents. This was probably the highest performing bar out of everything that I smelled. This was in my guest room with just two cubes. I would probably use one uh, if you wanna just, if you're gonna do like a bathroom or, and this was a guest room, so this is a room, right? Um, and this door closed was coming out of like any little <laughs> opening on the bottom of the door. I can smell this in the hallway. Uh, this is an extremely strong scent. Um, and even the next day, I'm trying to remember what I warmed. I think I mentioned it in my shorts, in the YouTube shorts. I warmed something after this and I had to like stop and then like just keep the door open for a while. And because the next day, the ghost of Pima Cotton was still lingering um so that is a strong one little goes a long way i will be getting a few more because i like the scent and i'll just be using minimal minimal amounts um okay and then we have quiver quiver i warmed in my bedroom so i used three cubes this is also one that was kind of strong to the nose this has vanilla flower sandalwood and tuberose the tuberose is a really pretty flower in a lot of perfumes. 
This is, if you're familiar with Giorgio Armani's My Way, that has tuberose in it. I'm not saying it smells like this, but if you're trying to think of what tuberose might smell like. Um, this was a high performer. So if Pima Cotton was pretty high, I'd say this one was really high as well. Um, this performed very, very well in my bedroom. I would say, did I have any anything else that I knew I'd forget? No, I didn't. Um, so yeah, just really high performer in the bedroom. I really like this scent a lot. This this combination of this perfumey floralness is it's for me. It's for me. And again, little goes a long way. I would probably use half of what I usually would put in my room. So sometimes I do four. Four is kind of my average in my bedroom. Um, I did use three on ones that smelled strong and I had a sense we're going to be strong, um, but I could probably easily use two and it, it I smelled, smelled it for, uh, this would also probably continue for days. I did take it out um, after two days and it still had quite a lot of scent to it. Okay, rum raisin cookie. Rum raisin cookie is cookie dough, raisin, and clove. On first sniff, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it's like, it's fine. You know, it smells like a bakery scent. On warm, and even now, now that I know, I think what I smell like, I can smell the raisin, I can smell that cookie, and I get like the crispiness, like, you know, a cookie that's like crispy on the edges and like soft in the middle? that's that's what I'm getting there's something that's a little a little crispy in here and this was a really good scent throw for me was I'd say average average performers what I had down here um I could smell it I had it in the open concept I used four cubes in that area and uh yeah it smelled really good so this was one that um surprised me a little bit more on warm and I actually like this a lot and I think I will be clubbing it and that's rum raisin cookie now we have spiced berries I also warmed it in that same open concept used four cubes this is frankincense myrrh and berries I really enjoy this one and this was also a very strong performer I could definitely smell it I probably could have done with just three cubes uh, instead of four um Frankincense and myrrh. So frankincense and myrrh, um, especially frankincense, uh, they can be found in incense, uh, and there are there are resins. So like amber is a resin as well. They have uh, they just they're they're a bit stronger notes than a citrus. And I can do a video about that. Like I said earlier, um, I've definitely learned like why some things are top notes, middle notes, and base notes. But to me, I'm definitely saying that the the frankincense and myrrh is probably a base note in here, berries being a middle note. Um, I really did like this scent because it is different than your typical spices. It's different than like nutmeg and cinnamon. And I think there is, no, nope, there's no cinnamon in here. Yeah. So there's no, no of your typical kind of spices, uh, cl um, clove and things like that, that you get in a lot of fall scents with berries or with fruit. This is uh, definitely the frankincense and myrrh coming through. So I think this may be one that you're either going to love or maybe it's not for you. I do enjoy this a lot because of that uniqueness, because it is something a little more complex. Frankincense is a very expensive um, oil. So there is something elegant and sophisticated about the spice berries in here. Um, and for that reason, I will be clubbing it. It is strong, though. So a little bit goes a long way. Um, and I think this is one where you kind of know thyself. It, you may not like it, but I'd say maybe give it a try if you're willing to try something new, something a little different if you're not familiar with frankincense and myrrh. Um, but I did enjoy warming this. I think this would make a great kind of fall, winter, like November uh, through, you know, through the winter. So I did enjoy spice berries. Sticky Cinnamon Bun, and this is Cinnamon Sweet Icing and Nutty Nuances. I didn't really get nuttiness in here. Maybe that's adding to a tiny bit of bun, like tiny, but it's lacking. It's lacking in the bun bready department. I do get the icing and the cinnamon, 
So it's kind of sweet cinnamon, similar to the fried ice cream, but different. It's like a different sweet cinnamon. This is more what you would find on a cinnamon bun. But unfortunately, it didn't really... I didn't get the sticky cinnamon bun. It was missing the bun. But because I knew what it was, I, I kind of like imagined the bun <laughs> in there. I warmed this in the kitchen, kind of open concept. I did use four cubes. Uh, so I like the scent. Unfortunately, it just didn't completely deliver. And for that reason, I'm not putting it in my club. Okay, vanilla cream. Vanilla cream is French vanilla and coconut milk. Um, I did get the coconut, coconut, uh, it's kind of like coconut shavings is what I picked up. I warmed this in the, I warm this. Oh, you know what? I warmed this in the open concept, but I had peppermint, peppermint rush warming kind of on the other side. I could definitely smell it in the area that this was warming. It's a nice vanilla scent. It's not not overly sweet. I think the coconut milk kind of gives it a, a touch of sweetness. For me, this is a nice mixer to have. So if you don't have, which I don't, I think a lot of people have compared it to maybe sim simply vanilla, I think is the one. Uh, so if you don't have anything else that is vanilla besides vanilla, vanilla buttercream, this might be a good one to have as a mixer. Um, on its own, it's, it's nice. It's a pretty vanilla, but it's just vanilla. Um, and I tend to like to mix things like that. So I might, I'll probably get a few more of these, um, moderate performer, moderate to, yeah, moderate. I could smell them both. Uh, and considering peppermint rush is such a strong bar, given that this kind of, I could still smell it, I think was, is good. Last from the bring back my bars is woodland suede. I love this one. This is uh, wooded wonderland. Uh, let's see, red oak, smoky cedar, and musk with winter lemon. If you're worried about woodsy notes or woodsy Christmassy tree, strong tree pine, no, this does not have that. This is beautiful. Top favorites. So I'll, I'll give my top at the end. Um, I say unisex. Some people say manly. Okay. Um, but I think it's not super colony. It's just Oh, it's so good. I don't know what else to say. I have this in my bedroom. I used four cubes. I'd say after a full 24 hours, it was getting lighter, but uh, that's a pretty good performer from that perspective. Um, yeah, this is going to my club. Um, so this is this is something very different, um, hard to describe. You do get that muskiness and a little bit of that winter lemon. Um, mm. I love it. Okay, my battery is gonna die here. So let's move on to the Valentine's Day scents. So we have Clementine Blossom. This one to me had um, a bit of a creamsicle, I think, vibe, just a touch. Um, it's golden citrus, pink nectar and sugar bloom. Sugar blossom, sorry. Um, this is light, I am warming this in the open concept. So kind of unfair. I think this would be more of a small room office bathroom so this is light definitely light i can barely pick it up but i do i think it's a pretty clementine i think it's a really pretty scent so i um i do have another one of these and i i am liking it a lot but it is a light performer then we have pink sunshine i have this in the guest room uh, with two cubes this is lush pear plum cashmere and rose milk um this to me is the most floral perfumey I think of the of the uh from a floral perspective this is actually it was the lightest to me on cold and on warm it is the strongest it's a moderate moderate it's filling up the room very well um with just the two cubes it's a fruity floral it's not still not my favorite of the three on scent on performance, this probably is the top performer as far as strength. And then Starburst Sky, this is a mix of sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, and amber blossom. Um, this is this is my favorite. <laughs> Still my favorite because it does remind me of Baccarat Rouge. So if you haven't seen my January melting basket, I do mention that there that um, I was surprised I didn't pick up on that scent earlier. 
but the amber is offering this really pretty, pretty notes to it. So what's interesting is uh, it's like Mason Margellan Kirk John. I'm probably going to mess up his name. He's the perfumer of the very infamous, infamous Baccarat Rouge 540. It is one that has been duped and inspired by, by gosh, probably like 50 perfumes or more. So if you're smelling some other perfume, yes, you're probably right. Um, I think um, Sol de Janeiro has like a inspired by, they don't say that, but they, they are. Um, Baccarat Rouge is just kind of this premier uh, um, perfume that is in high-end department stores and things. So I love that scent. I have a dupe of that scent. My daughters love that scent. Um, in fact, one of her friends, I do have a quick story. Um, she's like, mom, my friend, she's wearing something. It smells really good. And I think she mentioned me one day that she's like, mom, you smell good. And they wanted to know, try to figure out what she was wearing. I go, well, just ask her, say, you smell good. What are you wearing? <laughs> um, but they're all shy about asking. And so, um, I said, you know what? I bet you, I give you money based on what she was telling me. I go, I bet you it's Baccarat Rouge. And they did ask, um, my daughter and, and, and my cousin. And, uh, sure enough, she's like, yeah, it's Baccarat Rouge. But she's like, but that's so expensive that I have some dupes that I wear for every day. Um, anyway, sorry for the ramble, but, uh, if you smell that, this, that's what this smells like to me. I don't get the, um, ashtray smell that, uh, Pat Patricia Gates got. This is still a really pretty scent. I have this warming in this room right now. Um, it is light. It is on the lighter performance side, but I can smell it when I have the door closed. So I do enjoy this scent. I will be getting more of it just again from a scent perspective. I like this. And so therefore I'm okay with some moderate to light performers as long as I can smell them. And uh, I just need to know where to where to warm them uh, appropriately. Uh, so that is Starburst Sky. And that is it for the all of the bars that came out in January. I'm going to give you my top three and my bottom three. Okay, this was not easy because <laughs> there's so many great scents. I probably should have said top five, but I wanted to keep it, keep it short. A cranberry muffin, uh, probably no surprise. Just love the scent, the scent. And this is purely more weighing scent, much higher than performance. Um, I love the scent. It's so good. And these aren't necessarily in like ranking one, two, three. I just kind of top three. Woodland suede. I just, this so took me by surprise. Really enjoy this in my bedroom. I think it would smell nice in open concept, I, but you probably need to use more. Um, just, I really fell in love with this scent. So that one is also in my top. And this was a tough one because I could put the coffee, I'll get the coffee. I mean, I have top five. I'll get the perk me up and, all, and hazel, hazelnut latte and all those. But uh, Quiver was one that I'd never smelled before and surprised me. So this is another one that I think this is a combination of, I love the scent and throw and performance was up there. So that's why I ranked this a little higher than maybe perk me up or hazelnut latte or one of the other ones. Um, yeah, so this one, strong performer and I just really enjoy the scent. Bottom, bottom, I'll just tell you, bottom, coconut palm uh, does not know, not, not for me at all. Um, I could have also said coconut pumpkin pie just because of that weird smell at the very end, but no, I'm going to, I'm going to say green tea smoothie is in my bottom three, just that peach and I have nothing against peach. It, just the combination of that with the the ginger and the green tea did not oof, did not work for me at all. Um, so that's green tea smoothie and then flirtatious. It's just I don't know, not my kind of floral scent. Um, just a strong scent, but it was just okay. There's also something a little waxy to me and sharp about it. I could have picked others, I know, but. That's the one just kind of top of my head, just not for me. Um, I think for me might give me a little bit of a headache. And so for that reason, I'm putting that in my bottom. Um, so that is it. I hope you uh, stuck around and enjoyed this. Thank you so much. I'd love to know what you're thinking. Um, what are your favorites? What are you clubbing? So definitely let me know that. 
and I hope this was helpful. If you have found this helpful and if you've been enjoying my content, please uh, consider subscribing so other people can find my channel and give me a like. Um, it helps with the algorithm and uh, yeah, so really appreciate your support and thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.